Hi guys, right, today we've got an old favourite back on the bench, the old Dodo trike. Probably seen the other video where I, I did the little 2S conversion, 2S brush conversion, which didn't really work that well. So I've had another little um, rethink. So for a start, instead of that life battery or whatever it was, I've got a proper 2S LiPo now. Um, I need to do a bit of Dremelin because I think we're a bit on the large side, but that's that. But I've also got one of these little tiny brushless motor. It's a 1625 size. Uh, this one is 7500 kV, so it's you know, quite a powerful little thing. And to go with that, a little miniature 2S brushless ESC, um, which is not very many amps. I, th I think from memory it's like 40 amp or something like that. But this is where we're going now. So I'm going to start stripping it back down again and uh, bring it back on when I've got something exciting to show you. Well, a bit of chopping trimming it's in the old um, mesh feels all right work out a way of trying to secure that in there now but yeah all good so far so before I get it all sort of well space is the next thing I thought I'd just have a little dry test yeah already noticeably different this might work as long as I can fit everything back in here well, we're getting there. Um, yeah, literally every layer of this thing, you have to, yeah, I'm having to cut bits out to make things fit. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's, yeah, not meant to have a, a brushless system in it. But yeah, we're getting there. Um, batteries had to be re relocated from the first time. Uh, I kept it in standard place before, but this one's obviously a lot bigger. So I've had to move the receiver, but I've had to move the speed controller, obviously the motor's different. But yeah, I'm just building it up layer by layer and um, getting it to fit. So I mean, the, the main sort of drive train is in there now. You know, obviously the steering's all back in, all the motor box thing is back in, suspension's back in. So yeah, next layer, I've cut space out for the battery, but then I've got to cut bits out of the next bit to get that to fit, and then the next bit, the next bit, the next bit. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on going. Well, there we go, all done, all back together. Uh, fit, it's very tight, all fits in there, but yeah, it all still looks normal. Still got the drift tires on, but obviously with the amount of go it's got, I thought I'd better bring it outside and we try it on some tarmac, see what it's like. Uh, you'll have to bear with me because I'm not the best at one hand driving. Well, the drift tyres outside are just as bad as they are inside. I'm going to go and see if I've got any old circuit tyres I'm going to put on it. Right, here we go again. Uh, got some sweet on-road racing tyres. Um, so we've gone one extreme to the other. So I've gone from something with no grip for drifting to all the grip for racing. Let's go. It all works. Um, I think gear mesh has moved, so that's something for me to look at. But as like a proof of concept, yeah, you can do a 2S brushless dodo trike. 
Um, this is the sort of thing you want to see. I'm going to be doing a 3S Gorgon very shortly, Armour Gorgon. So that's going to have a nice change up. Also, I've got a giveaway going, so when I get to 100 subscribers, I've got one of these little dodo trikes to go to give away. Only seem fair as it's uh, one of the most liked videos on my channel at the moment. So yeah, if you like what you see, click the old subscribe button and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.